May 1st was National College Decision Day, but many students still don't know what school they'll attend next semester. The Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, plays an important role for high school students who plan on attending college. The form is vital for students to get federal loans, work-study funds, and grants to afford school. But this year, students have experienced a number of setbacks filling out the form. Students whose parents do not have a social security number have been greatly impacted. Most of them have not been able to do a FAFSA at all. The guidance the FAFSA has given them and us on how to submit a FAFSA when you don't have a social um, is not correct. In previous years, the FAFSA form was available to students October 1st, but this year, the application wasn't available until late December. Now, some students are making decisions without knowing their financial aid offer. A lot of our students are still trying to decide exactly what they want to do after graduation and them not necessarily knowing what their financial aid information might look like may change either A, where they go to college, or B, whether they go at all. In March, the Department of Education identified yet another problem with the form that impacts several hundred thousand applications. The mistake? A vendor's calculation error. The issue has put a hold on several financial aid offers from schools, including Eastern Illinois University. There's definitely the worry for our incoming students that have never gotten award packages before. They don't know what they're getting or what they might be eligible for. Eastern Illinois University has taken steps to accommodate students waiting to hear about financial aid offers. We have pushed back our enrollment deposit or kind of our decision, um, you know, our commitment for students uh, to June 1st and ultimately any time in the summer we'll accept a student to move forward with their next steps. But those accommodations could cause further delays for the steps students take after enrolling. Typically um, students will start to move forward with housing, um, have that done by May 1st, know their, their housing assignments by the end of May. That won't happen until June. In Charleston, I'm Matt Williamson for WEIU Newswatch.